Hello and welcome on an incredible sneak peek as to what is happening right here and right now in South Africa, where on our live safaris we have just seen a nine and a half month old leopard cub make his one of his very first kills. There's his mom, the wonderful queen of Juma Karula, and I'm going to explain a little bit about where we are and how this all works in a moment, but I don't want to miss a second of what is a truly extraordinary moment spent in the lives of these animals. Here we go, things have settled down. Uh, my name is Jamie. This morning I have the pleasure of having Viam on camera with me. And we are coming to you live from a place called Juma Private Game Reserve, which is in the Greater Kruger National Park area of South Africa. And I said that all very, very quickly, just because I do want to show you exactly what is going on here so that we don't miss a moment. So just a few minutes ago, Karula, the queen of Juma, a 12-year-old female leopard, caught this young baby in Yala, which is a type of antelope. But her son, her sonna, moved in. He's only nine and a half months old. He growled and hissed at her and actually chased her away before she even had a chance to kill it. It's actually not so much that he chased her away, so much as that she moved off so that he can practice his hunting technique. And he was the one that ultimately put this young Nyala out of its misery. Now, he has to go about trying to figure out how to feed on the, his breakfast, and it's not actually all that easy. So for the last few minutes, since he's killed the Inala, he's actually been playing with it in the same way that domestic cats play with their food, with mice or birds that they catch. And it's although it is very difficult for us to watch, and actually very, really very sad for this baby Inala, it is absolutely essential for his future survival. He will not grow to be a big, strong male leopard unless he gets these hunting techniques down to a T. One day, in a few months from now, he's going to have to leave the safety of his mother and he's going to go about his life as a solitary creature. Which is why it is oh so important that he learns how this whole process works. And just a reminder that these animals are 100% wild. We do not interfere with them in any way. It just so happens that we're fortunate through many years of ethical guiding that the animals have become comfortable with us in their presence. They don't look upon us as a threat. They don't view us as a threat. As long as we keep our distance and respect their space, they are more than happy to share these moments with us. And Jerry, you say you don't think that he would want to share that meal with his family. And as we saw earlier, as he snarled at mom when she made her way towards him, absolutely not. He doesn't seem intent on sharing at all. He will eventually, um, he will share with his sister who is lying off, no, not lying off, she's actually just a little bit off to my right. There she is there. That is the beautiful Shungile, his twin sister. And he will eventually share with her, but for now, he's still hyped up in the moment of his kill. And he's had to leave Shungile to go about, well, playing with a branch. She'll have to content herself. She lost out this time around. She wasn't close enough to mom when mom caught breakfast. So she's going to have to practice her hunting techniques on a stick. Isn't she absolutely gorgeous, though? Oh, Carmilla, do you want to know how many leopard there are left in the world? Now, that is a fascinating question because the truth is we actually don't know. Now, in the Sabi Sand, which is where we are, just this particular part of the Kruger National Park, we're very, very familiar with the leopard characters because they have become accustomed to our presence. But in other parts of South Africa and other parts of the world, leopards are exceptionally good at being completely secretive and hidden away. For example, in one of the big cities of South Africa, in Johannesburg, there was a leopard living for years underneath the sports stadium without anybody realizing. There's even the story of a leopard raising cubs in an abandoned apartment block. And what that means is that we actually don't know exactly how many leopards there truly are. And there are some amazing organizations that we do work with, research organizations, that attempt to keep track of just how many leopards there are through devices such as camera traps, which is a motion sensored camera that takes pictures and identifies the animals through complex, almost like facial recognition software, except for spots. And they're trying, slowly but surely, to build up a picture of just how many leopards we have. Because to be 100% honest with you, nobody really truly knows. We know that we see the Queen of Juma, Karula, and her two cubs in this area. And of course, the leopard territory will differ. The size of a leopard territory will differ depending on where you are. 
Look at this, he's still playing with his food. Those of you with pet cats, although this is hard to watch, you'll have seen this before with your cats at home. Playing with their kills, tossing it up into the air. It's all part of an instinctive drive that these predators have. And Hassan has curled himself in a ball around his little kill. Very proud of himself. Oh, here we have something interesting. Shungile has shifted a little bit closer to him. Is she going to be brave enough to go and tackle her brother? Despite the fact that they are the same age, there is already a significant size difference between him and her. Oh, already he's hissing at her. See from her body language, he is back, submissive posture, shoulders slumping a little bit. She's not going to be tackling him. She's not going to take on her brother. And with a fierce face like that, who can blame her? Sylvia wants to know if that is a kudu that he's eating. It is not, but I can understand why you might think so, because they do look very, very similar. Sylvia, it is a... It is a baby in Yala. Look at him hissing at Mom. <laughs> and interestingly enough, despite the fact that she is bigger than him, she's moving off and letting him have his moment. And his little sister has moved off completely. There is Mom, the amazing Queen of Juma, the leopard responsible for providing this breakfast. Now, of all of the leopards in this area, she is the one of the most successful mothers. Now, I do need to just shift around a little. Oh, no, hold on. I don't need to shift around a little bit. She is one of the most successful leopard mothers. And generally, a leopard cub mortality is about 70%. 70% of them won't make it to their first year. What has she seen? Is her daughter? Or has she spotted something else to feed on? It's possible. Leopards are total opportunists. She's seen something and she's paying close attention. But yes, as a mother, Karula has beaten the odds time and time again. And in her 12 years, she's raised four different sets of cubs, eight different cubs, to adulthood. And she's well on her way to for Shungile and Hosanna to reach adulthood as well. There is something un incredibly canny about this particular leopard. Isn't she gorgeous? Those bright, beautiful eyes. Well done, girl. You have provided well for your family. All of you saying just how beautiful she is. She is indeed. And despite the odd sign of age, slightly yellowed teeth, slightly mottled ears, she is still a cat in her prime. And she has produced some very, very good-looking cubs. I'm not sure where her daughter's gone. Her daughter's disappeared off somewhere into the thicket. Oh, there she is. And Kerry, you say this is so amazing to watch. I'm glad that you feel that way, Kerry. And if you do want to see more of these images, you can join us if you want to on wildsafarilive.com where we can share more of these images with you. And you could also be with Brent with lions. He's with lions at the moment. We would love to be able to share these animals with as many people as possible. Because, of course, the more that this, these images reach across the globe, the more that people realize that this is what is happening each and every day in the Africa bush, perhaps the more invested they will become in the protection of the future of these animals. Well, unfortunately, it is a time for us to say goodbye, so I'm just going to quickly pop my head up and say thank you for joining us, and I do hope you join us on wildsafarilive.com in the future. However, I'm sure that you would like to finish off with, rather than an image of my face, with an image of these beautiful leopards as they go about their morning ablutions and feeding. I hope you have a wonderful day, oopsie, <laughs> wherever you are, and that we catch you on the back of our live safari vehicles soon.